Hello watchers, it's me Jasper. So today's topic, it's one I've been putting off and actually it, it, it kind of came to a hit. Today's topic is bosses' rights to degrade their employee. Now I'm not just limiting to like the big bosses or anything like anybody that's you know in any type of supervisor role um you know any and what i mean you know degrade um look down on you possibly you know the be condescending be be arrogant about their position um, you know, anything along those lines. Now, the reason why I said, because recently it just came to a head, is, sorry, the lighting in here right now is shit. Um, at my new job, we have a lead for our area, but... After the first week, they, they were short on their pickers, so they needed him to go help out with pickers. And that's where he's been ever since. So, our lead had to leave our area just to go help, though he was still in charge of that area. Um, It's almost a shitty deal, you know. It's like, you know, make sure everything goes smoothly, even though you're not going to work over here. But, with that being said, so... He's gone. You know, he per periodically would come back, check in, whatever going on. So, they had... The, what what the lead did there... I'm sorry, I'm jumping around. But what the lead did there, he ran this machine that makes boxes for our hitches and other stuff that come down the line. They actually make them per size. So, he, he would, you know, run the area and, and run that machine. And then another guy... But stand behind them and take the boxes and glue one of the edges together and set them up um, so they would be able to be put together and put together in order. So when he was when he was pulled away to do other tasks for those few weeks, another guy was put in the position to run the machine. And I'm not sure how to put this at first. Like I guess he thought like he was the new lead. And it wasn't the case. He was just the guy running the machine. He thought he was in charge that he controlled what went on in that area. Um, you know, he thought he was Austin. He thought he was that guy that was the actual lead, that he was the one in control. So, with that being said, you know, he, he, he wanted to run things. He wanted everybody to do things his way. They had to be done his way. Now... On top of all that, he he just, I guess he had little man syndrome. You know, it, it, it just, he, he took it too far. He, he, he would come in and start barking orders. He would, he would try to tell us what to do, when to do it. He would come... He would literally come at us and yell at us and start degrading us. He wouldn't, like if something was going on, he wouldn't come over to inspect the situation. He wouldn't try to figure out what the problem was. He would just, he he would always be, you know, hip ready. He, you know, he'd always go straight for his gun instead of, you know, trying to figure out what the issue was before the problem even could be solved. Um, 
every day he he would you know get shitty with us you know talk down to us and usually most of the time and this especially the way it went for those few weeks those three weeks or whatever it was you know I just would let things roll off my shoulders you know whatever fuck you you know I'm just going to continue doing what I'm doing because I know what I'm doing and I'm doing it well even though this is a new job that's is how it went you know I it wasn't it's not a very hard job to pick up but he had like he would throw fits over the stupidest shit and I there were times where I did snap back at him just because I wasn't going to tolerate you know his stupidity I want to say you know and in like I said he was not the lead he thought he was and even if he was I still wouldn't have accepted the treatment and it wasn't just me like I said it was everybody there everybody there was getting fed up with it and day in day out you know it was just one thing after another you know he'd come in you know he and the thing is that he said this I think three times that I can recall that he he told us you know if there's a problem and we're gonna get in trouble he's that yeah, we're gonna go down before he goes down you know and that's verbatim he he said we're gonna go down before he goes down it's it's crazy that you'd say something like that um you know he's he was very arrogant he's very sniveling you know he he like one of the best words i can think about him would be that he was a weasel you know it's just he he was two-faced it just and no one liked him like every day you know, we we just had our complaints, and you know, I I would complain about him too. I I hate complaining, and I, it, he ended up making me complain about him. And I think it was Tuesday. We're in there, not even five minutes for the day, and he just he went off again, you know, over something frivolous. I mean, he just fucking just. And, and at that point, I, I just, I got fed up with it. You know, it was first thing in the morning. And when it, Tuesday was actually a pretty shitty day. Anyways, we, we were severely swamped. And we, you know, we had work to do. We had shit to get going. And he's already just fucking going off. So, I I can't remember. Like I said, I'm new there. So, I I, I know who's in charge, but I can't remember their positions. Or their titles, let's say. Um, so I want to call this guy the plant manager. Because I know there's another guy. He's a operations manager or something. But I went to the plant manager or whatever. He, he actually is. Like, like I said, I can't remember his title. And I I had a sit down with him. Um, and I told him everything that this guy does. You know, I told him the way he talks to us. And the funny thing is, is that we had a guy that had started there a week before and he had to go use a pallet jack and they keep one pallet jack in behind the machine to move their boxes, their, their skid boxes around. And, and that's all that pallet jack is for, just so it's always there when they need it. Because for some reason, our pallet jacks just go missing out on the floor. Like I, it's, it's strange. Um, So with that pallet jack being back there, and it's that's where it's supposed to say you you move whatever you got to move, and it just stays back there. Um, it's usually rarely ever brought out to be moved for anything else. So the new guy goes back there and asks if he can borrow it, just to move the skid. And Roger says, "Yeah, you can borrow it, but you gotta you gotta bring it back. And if you don't bring it back, you're gonna make me mad, and you don't want to see me mad." Now, that almost sounds like a threat, if you ask me. I did tell this to the plant manager. You know, I told him amongst other other things, you know. And 
his eyes literally came out of his head. Just he was bewildered on all the actions and and all the say so that was happening back there. Um. So like I said, I had to sit down with him about this guy because, like I said, I got fed up with it. You know, and you don't treat people like that. It doesn't matter in what position you are. You know, and I know in the military, they do degrade you a little. You know, they, they try to bring you down and then build you back up. And and then that situation is a little different. You know, they're not doing it to be assholes because they want to be assholes. They're doing it because they actually have a point to what they're doing. But, you know, in the workplace, you, you can't talk to co-workers or underlings or superiors. Anyway, you can't talk to anybody like that. It's just... You can't work with people like that. You won't get along. It causes problems. It causes uh, animosity. It causes risks. So, <clears throat> I spoke with the plant manager. The guy that got threatened over the pa pallet jack, he ended up speaking with him a little bit later. The guy that I said glues the boxes together, he went and talked to the plant manager. Then at the end of the day, one of the one of the girls that that pulls all our parts for us and brings them over so we can get them packaged and and dealt with. Um, I can't remember exactly what it was about, but he ended up getting it into with her, and she's been there a lot longer than he is. Like I think he was he's only been there for five months, if I recall correctly. And I think she's been there for a few years. I mean, so she definitely has the experience. She knows what she's doing. You know, but she she did something apparently he didn't like, which is very easy to do. Um, And he snapped off on her and was, you know, just being a dick. Just yelling at her for no fucking reason. Just... No reason. And I told her uh, later in the day, because it was towards the end of the day, I told her a little bit after it that I've already spoke with the plant manager about his actions and his words. And so have a couple of the other guys just that one day. Because we all just, you know, got fed up with it. Um... So I told her, you know, if if she wants to go speak with Mike, you know, that he kind of already knows what's going on. And she said that she already had planned to. And so the next day, he's nowhere to be found. So he got shit canned. He got shit canned for being... A dick, pretty much, you know, he just, you can't talk to people like that, and I had no intention of getting fired, I just needed him under control, because he was out of control, now, everyone needs a job, but, you know, if he's, if he's gonna continue to act like that, you know, it's just, he, he doesn't need to work there, uh, go somewhere else where maybe they can they can tolerate it, but I'm not going to tolerate it, and I know the guys around me weren't tolerating it. You know, like I said, I dealt with it for a few weeks, and I, I've I've fed up with it. And the plant manager actually asked me, you know, is, you know, is, don't quit, please, don't just don't quit. You know, we'll get this. Hand. I was like, I told him I was like, I'm not, I'm not planning to quit. I'm not planning to go anywhere. I'm just having a problem, and I need it dealt with. And I'm not the only one with this problem. And I just, I wanted to see how things were rolling out. That, you know, it wasn't like, you know, it happened for a few, first few days and I'm just going to run up and tell and complain about it. You know, I, I wanted to see how everybody else, else there felt, you know, and if it was a situation that was just going to continue on, which it was, you know, so it's just, you know, it, unfortunately he did lose his job, but for the last few days, it actually has been smoother over there. You know, it's just, we don't have to hear his bitching or his, he, he wore these like, these boots that had kind of a high heel on them or, or more of a high heel than a standards men boot should. 
So every time he walked, you always heard it. You know, you always heard that clack of his boot hitting the floor. And every time I heard it, it always kind of annoyed me just because I knew it was him. You know, and it's just, but just saying out of, out, out, out of all that, it has been smoother over there now. Just because we don't have to hear him complain. We don't have to hear him bitch. We don't have to have hear him, you know, throw fits just because he's being a selfish little ninny. Uh, it's, it's bullshit when you have to end up working like that. Because uh, right now, that... That day that I had to go make that formal complaint, uh, one of the new guys that had started last week uh, was let go because he came into work and he was absolutely shit-faced. He ended up going to the bathroom and falling asleep and was sawing logs <laughs> extremely loud. And they ended up just letting him go. Um, but it's just, you know, when you have to work with people like that, it's just, it's, it's annoying because they don't they don't respect you and if you know they don't respect you or they're definitely not respecting themselves either and we have two guys right now that are new um one guy that started that day with all the issues um another guy that started last week as well and they're kind of bugging the shit out of me right now because the one guy that started earlier this week is lazy as fuck and I'm kind of seeing how if he's just going to get let go because this place doesn't tolerate stupidity very well. So, I'm going to see if they catch him because they, a lot of people here notice notice what he's doing. That He's just, you know, he literally just stands there with his pockets in there sometimes. <coughs> Excuse me. And the other day I tried to tell him, you know, I seen him standing there, and you know, your first day or two, you're a little lost, so you you don't know always the routines and stuff. So, I was trying to direct him. I don't want to say I was telling him what to do, but I was trying to direct him. You know, I seen him. I was over in my little area working, you know, getting my stuff done. But I was trying to tell him, direct him, you know, let him know, you know, like. He had nothing to do over, the, or he didn't have anything to do, but he he didn't know what to do. So you know, I was telling him, I was like, "Hey, why don't you while you're waiting, go over there see what what's being made next? You know, grab this skid, you know, do, you know." And I wasn't being mean about it. You know, I was just you know, more or less suggesting what 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 could be done at that moment. And John, this other guy I worked with, you know, just come back from doing something else, and. The new guy was kind of irritated. I seen him mumbling, walking away, grabbing um, a pallet jack, you know. And John, you know, John noticed it too that, you know, he got pissed off because I was putting his ass to work. So he just couldn't stand there. And I've noticed this other guy I work with, John, you know, he complains about his lazy. He literally says his lazy fucking ass all the time. And this other guy that started with, um, started last week, you know, he, he gets irritated with him too. So he always just stands there. He comes up with me to me for guidance. Chad does, cause I don't. I guess I'm a, a natural motivator. You know, I I like to work hard and I like to help others. But you know, he always comes up to me, trying to get this guy, or trying to have me to get this guy motivated or move him around. And sometimes I can't. You know, I don't have the power necessarily just to tell him what to do. So if I did, I'd probably have to come down as a bit of a hard ass, you know, because like I said, you can't just go to work and stand there, especially if there's other guys there that you're supposed to be working as a team and you're the one sit sitting on your ass, you know. But like I said, I'm going to see what's going on and then I'll talk to our lead, you know, about it because I think he sees it too. I'm I'm pretty sure he sees it. But the other guy that started last week, he does work. But he complains all the fucking time. And he moves his ass as slow as he thinks he possibly can. And we kind of we kind of treat him as more like a, like a runner. Just like to do... Like to run pallets around and, and stuff like that. Just to kind of get him out of the way. Just because... he Sometimes he's kind of in the way when he's doing work. Just because sometimes we got to move. You know, quite quickly... 
but you know he he just doesn't have the motivation he always comes in he looks very unkempt he never i mean i don't like working overtime all the time but you know he's always bitching once you know Sometimes we have no choice, you know, at the end of the day, you know, they're just like, sorry guys, you gotta stay for another hour or two, you know. Um, this place doesn't work more than 10 hours um, a day. Uh, I know some places, you know, they'll work 12 hours a day, so on and so forth. But, you know, it, he just, all he does as soon as they start doing that, he bitches and bitches and bitches. And so does the other guy that just stands there. You know, as soon as I was like, man, I don't want to sit here just work, you know, I got, I got stuff that, what do you got to do? Well, you know, I want to go home and then, you know, they don't actually have an excuse. They just don't want to be there. I don't want to be there either, but, you know, when you work with people like that, it, it annoys the hell out of you. And it kind of brings your work, work day down. Um, I hope you guys can, can understand how, how I'm explaining this. But it's, you know... Dealing with dickheaded bosses, you know, I think they can just do whatever the fuck they want just because they're in a position of power, per se. Or you have to work with people that are lazy just because they think that other people are going to do the job for them. But, you know, right now, I was, we were, or I was able, but we were able to, you know, get rid of the guy who thought he was a boss when he wasn't. Because even the, the plant manager, you know, I brought that up. And so I, was, I wasn't sure if, you know, if you guys actually made him a lead because Austin had to had to go. And he's like, no, he's not he's not a lead. He's just running the machine. That's all he is. He's just another co-worker. I was like, you know, that's what I thought. But I didn't want to be presumptuous about it. So before I continue rambling on, but that, that was my point. You know, do they really have the right to degrade? I want to say no. Just for the fact that everyone deserves the respect. Even even the other two guys that don't want to work um, like the rest of us. They still deserve, you know, a certain amount of respect. But I'm going to I'm gonna talk to my, my lead tomorrow about them. And see, just see what his opinion is about. You know, if he has no problem with it, then I guess I don't have a problem with it. I'll just continue, you know, moving on with, with my work. And hopefully it won't hinder me. But I'm going to end it here. If you guys have an opinion about this, go ahead and drop it down below. Uh, if you guys like, go ahead and like. If you want to subscribe, go ahead and subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Take care and bye-bye.